Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com And now we are going to finish up with this course by showing you how to put together your animation very, very easily. Okay, so right now we took all the scenes from your animatic, put them inside an animation software, animate each one and render them, and then we got this. This is the animatic, but now it has all the emotions, all the movement, all the new backgrounds, everything put together. And so I'm going to take all of those scenes and switch them with all the panels in my animatic. Very easily. Let me show you how. Just select all of your scenes, all the animated scenes, click and drag into the folder scenes inside your project. Okay, now we have it imported. Let me open it. And so, check this out very easily. This is my animatic, right? Now, all I have to do is go to the beginning and change this by the animation. Look, very easy. Just click and drag and hold the Alt key and change that panel. Boop! And that's it. Let me play it. Oh, wait. We have all the an little animation with the zoom so let me change that i select this and then effect controls remove the animation for the position premiere will go oh my god are you sure you want to do this yes there's animation yeah i know press ok and then do the same for the scale are you sure yeah i'm sure and now let's restore everything and that's it we have the animation Very good. Now let's do that for all the parts. Now for this, let me play it. Good morning. Aha. Those two panels are one scene. So I select this scene, change only the first one, then select the second one, delete it, and just expand it. That's it. Very easy. And then I check this one. Yeah, all of this is that scene three. And then she's looking let me take it Book. now the animation and then all of this sequence let me zoom in a little bit not too much right there okay all the way to here have you seen this man this is one so I select it delete it and then change it remember just click and drag and hold alt and then I expand it then she says, um, no, hold alt. No, I haven't. Oops, let me delete that and expand this. No, I haven't. Then he says, okay. This is a very long one. No, I haven't. Whoops. <laughs> I made a mistake. Let me undo, control Z. I wanted to change this one. For some reason, it duplicated. Let me just select the second one press delete and now be very careful accidentally I click and drag here the opacity let me tell you what this is doing this is lowering the opacity if I take that clip and put it on top you can see a ghostly effect so let me put it as it was right here and bring the opacity up just in case this happens to you now you know how to fix it let me expand this Ooh. No, he's not done yet. How about now? And then she talks. This is this one. Then he says, liar. Very accusing, very aggressive. And then she reacts. What? Yes. And then I just keep changing everything I need. Okay. And that's it. What? Then right here uh, in the cut, they didn't think I want the credits to appear. <laughs> 
Okay, very good. So we have the animation, right? Very, very easy. It took like three minutes. It took very, very little. And now, what if I want to add some text? What if I want to add some text right here, the 2D animation 101 percent? Well, very easy. Let me show you how. First, first go to your project panel and go to the root. And I'm going to add a new folder that's named text, TXT. Open it. And in here, I will add a title, new item title. This will be called uh, to the animation 101. Okay. And in here, let me add the text. We'll put it here to the animation 101. Just that. And I don't like that color. I cannot see a thing. I want it black. So control eight, select everything. Then change the color right here. I will pick black, press OK. And I don't want that font. So let me choose Open Sans, for example. Right? And I want all caps. I just click on the here, small caps, and bring the size all the way up. Boop. Now everything is all caps. To the animation one one and bold. No, not bold, maybe regular. Yes, and now I click on the arrow, click here, and there we have it. Okay, maybe a little bit smaller. I can just click on the transform function and I can change the size. I'm holding shift. If I release shift, I can distort the image, you see? And if you hold shift, you maintain the aspect. So it will be like this. To the animation, let me close it. And now I created a text object, but that text object is not in my timeline. Okay? So all I have to do is click and drag. It appeared at the beginning. To the animation 101 percent. I want both text to appear there. Let me add another text. New item, title. Let me show you. This is not how I do it. Right now, all the settings, everything is reset, though I have to change everything. You see, I have to change the font, the small caps, and all the little details. So let me close it. Let me cancel. I select that one, delete. And what I like to do is select this clip, then hold Alt, and then click and drag. That duplicates that one. Now we have 2D Animation 101, copy. I can just double click on it and put this text below. Right now, this text editor is showing me whatever I have on this screen. For example, if I put the cursor here, I will preview how my text will look like in that frame. Okay, undo. And I want the cursor right here. And change the name to Double, I just double click on it and change it to percents, right? Put it here, percents. And that will be it. Let me close it. And now, let me play it. To the animation 101 percents. And then I want this to go out. Around there. Very good. Now, you can leave it like that if you want, or you can add fade in. For that, you can go to effects, and then video transitions, then choose dissolve. Then from there, just add additive dissolve. This is like that fade in. You see, now percents has a fade in. So now let's add it as a fade out, click and drag. Then click and drag to the start and the end. Okay. There. Fade in, fade out. Okay. I can select both and make them start sooner. Uh, maybe even sooner. Yeah. Yes. Now, 
one other detail I can do is I can take this layer, the presents, and create an animation of those letters moving to the right. Okay? Just go to Effect Controls, move the cursor to the beginning, mm -hmm. then open Motion, add animation for the position, and at the end, well, at the end I'm not going to see anything, so let me go around here, and then I will move the keyframe to the right. At the end, I just move this, whoops, I'm moving the X axis, careful, and click and drag a little bit to the right. And now I take that keyframe and put it all the way to the end. And now we have the little animation. It's moving, you see? The letters percent are moving to the right. And now I'll do the same for 2D Animation 101. Let me go to the beginning. Motion. Activate the animation. Then go to, maybe not the end, maybe here. And move this a little bit to the left and then I put the keyframe at the end, okay? Whoops, I need more movement here on the 2D animation, so I'll bring it here. Let me select that keyframe by clicking go to next keyframe and move it a little bit more to the left. Yeah, now I like it. Well, I, maybe it's too aggressive. Let's put it at the end. Whoops, I had two keyframes selected. Let me undo and click on an empty space, then select only that keyframe. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I think I like it. Let's play it. Yeah, that's it. Good morning. Okay, very good. Now you know how to add text to your animation. You can add that text and you can also take what you learned here and use it for the ending credits. It's just text that has fade in and fade out. And remember, if you want to take, more, for example, this text, just alt, click and drag. And now I have more credits that I can have appearing right here. Percents, right? So very interesting. Now you know how to add text to your animations. Very good. Congratulations. Now you know how to create an animatic and how to put all your sequence of your animation together to create your final render of the animation. And also you know how to export. You can just press Ctrl M and then select to where you want to export it and press export. Very good. Now, if you want to know more about animation and all this process, you can check the next lesson in which I will show you how you can take everything you learned in this course and create your animations, okay? See you in the next lesson, the bonus lesson. See you there.